For CBS Sports Line, I'm Pete Pistoni at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and Mother Nature played havoc with the 91st running of the Indianapolis 500 on Sunday. A two-hour rain delay around the midway point, and then finally, at lap 166, the skies opened up, but Dario Franchitti not complaining. He was the guy ahead and wound up picking up his first career Indy 500 win here in the 91st running of the greatest spectacle in racing. That put out a pretty good day for the Andretti Green Racing Team, who had a chance to maybe have a top three finish here with all their drivers running so well. But at the end of the day, Franchitti was the one that carried the team colors. Marco Andretti, late in the race, wound up flipping and crashing on the back straightaway. He was okay, but that knocked him from competition. Michael Andretti trying to go out on top, and maybe his final start here at Indianapolis didn't have a good day. He wound up finishing 24th. Danica Patrick, on the other hand, wound up finishing 8th. She was the best of the three female drivers in the field here. Milka Duno, who was the Venezuelan sports car driver, making her first start. She crashed, wound up finishing 31st. And Sarah Fisher wound up finishing 21st. And another Andretti Green Racing driver, Tony Kanan, looked like he had the field covered, but 44 laps from the finish, he was involved in an incident late. That knocked him from contention. So at the end of the day, it was Daryl Franchitti standing in victory lane. Scott Dixon wound up finishing second. Elio Castroneves, the pole sitter, he came home third. It was uh, Sam Hornish Jr., last year's winner here, giving Roger Penske the third and fourth place finishes here at the Brickyard. And rounding out the top five today, Ryan Briscoe with a good run for a very, very small and low-budget team. So Dario Franchitti, the winner here in a soggy day at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And again, the story, Andretti Green Racing dominating the day and at the end of the day, winding up in victory lane. From the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, this is Pete Pistoni reporting for CBSSportsLine.com.